Before we address microwaves, we have to address the modern crisis of electromagnetic frequencies, aka EMF radiation, certain radio frequencies being viewed as conspiracies. The average person will dismiss any radiation that is non-ionizing, aka any type of electromagnetic radiation that does not carry enough energy to remove an electron from an atom or molecule. It is not physically heating the surface with the amount of radiation it is generating. This is like saying a cigarette won't give you lung cancer because you're not coughing when you're smoking it. The safety limit in place now was established in 1953 by Hermann Schwann, who later went on record to say that he had changed his mind and that this limit was inadequate due to the non-heat effects of EMFs. No test of EMFs in the atmosphere have been done in the US since 1979. The US Federal Communications Commission has a limit of 10 for exposure to RF fields, whereas China, Russia, and Switzerland are at 0.1. Russia even banned microwave ovens due to a slew of findings, and this was almost 50 years ago, mostly pertaining to carcinogenic and cell damaging disorders in the human digestive system after consuming said microwaved foods. This ban was lifted after the perestroika, Russia becoming more modernized. Those are by no means the extent of Russian experimenting. From the 1950s to 1979, Russians blasted the US embassy with non-ionizing microwave radiation at 2.5 to 4.0 gigahertz for an estimated 40 hours per week. The US embassy personnel had statistically significant health problems. The longer they worked there, the worse these problems were likely to be. A conference in 2003 organized by the World Health Organization and over 120 scientists from 17 countries came to a conclusion that children should not use cell phones, pregnant women should not use a cell phone, and if making a call, time should be limited to three minutes, preferably keeping the phone on speaker away from your face. But microwaves are far more powerful than your cell phone. Unfortunately, as you guys can see, my family has little concern about microwave radiation. What's even worse is my parents' bed is right behind this wall. I actually installed some aluminum mesh uh, behind this to block the waves to some degree. Behind this keypad is a magnetron that generates high-powered radio waves from electricity, sending them into the compartment to cook the food. These radio waves bounce around in the compartment, violently vibrating the molecules inside the food, therefore heating it. The more radio waves absorbed by the food, the faster the molecule vibrates and the hotter the food gets. But you're not only exposing your food to large amounts of EMF radiation, you're exposing yourself to an enormous amount of EMF radiation, thousands and thousands of times higher than your cell phone. Even when the microwave is off, there is a detectable level of EMF. But turn that on and you won't want to be in the same room. Uh, here is a uh, safe and sound classic EMF meter. And even when the microwave is off, you still get some interruption. And, and depending on where you put this on the microwave, uh, this is blinking to moderate levels of EMF, which is what we don't want. But when I turn this on, No, it, go, it goes crazy high. So when the microwave's off, there is a fair level of EMF that you don't want to be exposed to. Uh, but if you're five, 10 feet away from a microwave that's off, there's little concern. But as soon as you turn this thing on, extremely high, dangerous levels. The screen in this microwave isn't doing anything to contain the radiation. It doesn't matter how new the microwave is. It really kills me when my family just pops something in the microwave and stares at it like a mindless zombie. Like, do you want to start tanning or something? What are, you, what are you doing? I guess they are trying to induce cataracts or something. A Swiss scientist named Hertel measured the effects of consuming microwave vegetables versus conventionally prepared. And he noticed cholesterol levels increasing rapidly, hemoglobin decreasing, white blood cells decreasing, and an increased level of stress. 
Another research paper on microwaving human breast milk showed the loss of key antibodies and promotion of growth of dangerous bacteria. We know that heating a food in general depletes certain vitamins as well as enzymes, typically the water-soluble and to a lesser extent the fat-soluble vitamins, but cooking in a microwave causes more water loss, therefore you lose maybe 20% more of those water-soluble B and C vitamins as opposed to cooking in the oven on a stove top over an open fire. But this is one of the least of the concerns. You know, you, you shouldn't be worried about nutrients in your food when you're blasting yourself with this EMF all day, whether it's from a microwave or from your cell phone in your pocket. Physicians are increasingly confronted with health problems from unidentified causes. Studies, empirical observations, and patient reports clearly indicate interactions between EMF exposure and health problems. Individual susceptibility and environmental factors are frequently neglected. New wireless technologies and applications have been introduced without any certainty about their health effects, raising new challenges for medicine and society. Common EHS symptoms include headaches, concentration difficulties, sleep problems, depression, a lack of energy, fatigue, and flu-like symptoms. There is increasing evidence that EMF exposure has a major impact on the oxidative and nitrosative regulation capacity in affected individuals. This concept also may explain why the level of susceptibility to EMF can change and why the range of symptoms reported in the context of EMF exposures is so large. What this basically means is that people are susceptible to different frequencies. So depending on what type of environment you're in, you know, are you in a chronic, high stress, super high EMF environment in your workplace? Are you just constantly exposed to low levels consistently throughout the day? Plus, there is an individual antioxidant capacity. So one person might only have brain fog and memory issues from EMF, whereas another person might have insomnia. Why won't this ever be acknowledged by the mainstream? Too much liability, too much infrastructure. It is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends upon his not understanding it. If you guys want to get uh, something like this, uh, this is a safe and sound classic EMF meter. It's around $150, maybe even cheaper used. Definitely one of the more affordable ways to protect yourself. Uh, in regards to microwaves, I wouldn't touch them. In regards to your cell phone, I would keep it on airplane mode throughout the day. And I think I'll do a video in the near future uh, explaining the various other sources of EMF in your household. I did an older video that I will link at the end here if you want to check that out, uh, but I will give you guys an updated one, hopefully sometime in the near future. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, hopefully this helps a lot of you guys out. Uh, please, please, if you can, share the video. Uh, if you'd like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Uh, speaking of Frankie's Free Range Meat, your diet can help you deal with EMF, but you still want to remove yourself from the environment. You know, regardless of the amount of diet and exercise, all that stuff can help and make you feel better. But chronic exposure to EMF cannot be solved through anything besides removing yourself from the environment. Uh, you guys can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products at frankiesnaturals.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Uh, if you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations, you can send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com. I've had a surprising number of clients whose health issues were solved solely by addressing this. It's unfortunate, but more people need to be made aware of this and, you know, woo-woo conspiracy quack-quack stuff ain't helping.